Hey all, Russ here, Revere TV. How you doing today? Guess what? No more flu. <laughs> Finally got rid of that. Six weeks of that stuff. Yuck. Anyway, today I'm going to start a solar series. And today's going to be the first one of wiring up a solar controller to a, a simple panel. And we're going to use that uh, portable panel that I showed you in the last video. These are just going to be short little videos and hopefully it helps you hook up a solar system. Whether it's on a roof, flexible one, whatever. So anyway, unfortunately it's windy outside. Way too windy. I had to move everything in. I set up some lighting. I hope everyone can see good. We'll uh, wire it in here. So I'll be back. Okay, we're in here in RVR TV Studios, which is my motor home. <laughs> There's the Lensung 80 watt panel I showed you uh, last video. This is what we're going to be playing with for the next few videos. And there is the positive and negative leads coming off the panel. And that's what we're going to wire to today. The controller to today. And you can see. Each wire is marked. One says plus, which is a positive. The other one is negative, which that'll be the ground. Alrighty, let's get busy. This uh, Lensung, it's a flexible panel. They got that rubber coating on there. You're supposed to be able to walk on these things. We'll test that out in another video. Alrighty, let's get going. We'll get this uh, controller wired to this. Okay, here's the controller I picked up off Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Okay, right there on the left, where it says plus and minus, that's where we're going to wire, wire the panels to. This is very simple. Just remember your positive will be the red, negative will be black. Okay, here's a wire harness I picked up off uh, Amazon. It's already got the connectors on it. I wanted it that way. And that's what will hook to the panel right there, the positive and negative. So there it is. That's the layout. Let's go ahead and get her wired up. This is standard of all controllers. No matter what you get, you always will be dealing with a positive and negative. Right there's your negative. There's your positive. Wires will slip into the bottom. You just tighten them up. And it is Phillips head screws. And there's an example. I already bared back the wire. Positive will go there, and negative will go on the other side. Okay, we'll get her hooked up. Bear with me. I'm trying to do this with a camera and bad lighting. <laughs> anyway, just slip the wire in, and you tighten down the, the front screw. And that, once again, that's Phillips. And on the Negative side, the one with the minus, you hook the black wire and tighten it down. Okay, check, make a slight pull, make sure they're on there good. And they're connected. The controller has the harness wired to it now. Okay, you just take the quick coupler ends and attach it to the panel. They will just pop right on there and be nice and secure. The connectors are different. They can only go on one way, so it guarantees you're on the positive and negative side. And there you go. You have just now hooked up a solar controller to a panel. How about that? Wasn't very hard at all. In the next video right there is a LCD screen. You'll see it light up when we hook it, this thing to a battery. That'll be in the next upcoming video. Right there will be the connectors that will go to the battery. Alrighty, let me jump back on the computer and I'll be right back. Pretty easy, huh? It's not, there's not a lot to wiring up one of these. No, not really. Actually, a solar system is very simple. I mean, they can get complicated the bigger you get. Uh, there's other things, you hook an inverter, but we'll get into all that.
we're going to simplify this. This is once again going to be many steps on installing your own solar and this should save you a ton of money doing it yourself. Okay, uh, what I'm going to show you too on all my videos now, if you go down in the description where it says show more, I have set up RV or TV Amazon store, this link right here. And if you click on it, bingo, RV or TV shopping channel. Now, all the parts that I'm using are going to be listed in here. And there's going to be a ton of stuff in here. But also, if you click on it, it helps the channel out a little bit. They pay a few pennies. But, but like right here is the wiring harness. Uh, there's different panels, batteries I listed, inverters, just different things, a few RV supplies. And there is a controller right there, which was $18.99. Anyway, click on that, and you can follow along and shop yourself. I mean, whether you're going to do this or where you're going to buy it. But once again, everything that I'm presenting on the videos will be on my shopping channel. All righty, real quick, I want to give a shout-out to Jason Bell. He sent me some photographs. This guy has a first class solar system sent a bunch of pictures let's look at them uh, he's got the lithium batteries he's got a heater on the batteries here for cold weather I mean this is a first class setup look at the big controller big heavy double out wire here's his lithium batteries here Look at the circuitry in this thing. This is some high-end wiring here. Looks like he has all 12 volt. He can monitor it with his uh, cell phone, it looks like. Very, very nice. He can power up about anything he has. Look at the big motor home. Yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. What a nice setup, Jason. Thanks for sharing. Woo, he's got about $28,000 tied up in that. So, But, hey, if you're out boondocking and it's worth it to you, that's cool. The average setup on most rigs that I've done for myself has been two to 3000 But this is beautiful. I'd love to see that and film it. Anyway, Jason, thanks for sending that in. Alrighty, I'm going to cut this off here. This, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. I like these DIY type videos. And got all the pieces. We'll have fun with this uh, panel too. We'll hook it up to my SUV, to the battery on the car, run it around. I'll dissect the uh, system I have on the trailer and also on my RV here on the motorhome because I have 200 watt here, 300 watt out there with a bunch of batteries, so we can dissect all that too in future videos. Anyway, we'll make a whole solar uh, series. Also, I want to give a big shout out. You know, the power of social media and Facebook. Uh, I just got reconnected with a good friend of mine and uh, after 30 some years, and it's been over a decade since I talked to him, maybe 15 years. So a big shout out to Rodney and Kathy up in Northern California. You know. All right, guys. I'm going to cut this off. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. And I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.